Hello guys, it is me again, Fury Gods. This one, this video is going to be a little bit more unusual because this will be me doing a walkthrough for Halo 5 Guardians. Now this is kind of interfering with my original plans of play all the campaigns in order, you know, like play all the games in order that which they were released, but I just felt like I needed to play Halo 5's campaign because I mean, Halo is in a deep state of panic and I know with the success of Halo Wars 2 that's slowly changing but I want to play it so that way we can I can address at least in my own perspective the faults of Halo 5 and what they could really improve upon because the whole game needs to be improved upon I'm getting a rewrite for the whole campaign is going to be near impossible they're not gonna just write a new story and then do a Mass Effect 3 and just make a whole rewrite that you have to pay for so we'll go ahead and at the end of it at the end of some videos I'll give like my reviews on how good or how bad each levels were or I'll probably just save it all for the end I may, I may not even play a level while I give the, give my overall review. So we'll go on. We'll jump on into this game and play it as well as I can. So let's do it. The scene is also never addressed in the whole game. No explanation as to why they even put it in there. Look at that fan service. And then ugly Miranda Keys from Halo 2 Anniversary. Spartan Lock. I have spent enough years with Oni to know the truth. And that's the last time you'll probably ever see Cortana like that. Once this is over, after all I have done. They'll order you to kill us both. Oh, Cortana doesn't look ugly, per se, and he still looks good, but I mean, uh, social justice warriors had to fuck with Cortana. They had to fuck with us. They had to fuck with us pure Halo fans. The bastards. Team Osiris. Over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. Dr. Captain Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. She claims to have information on these attacks. Claims. Halsey is currently in covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Dama. If you have the opportunity. Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Grabbing gear online. Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Alright, in defense of the writing for this part, because I know people were really tick jacked about the writing for the whole game, but in defense of this part, God is a, like a centerpiece for military people. I mean, it just is. I mean, if you look at it in popular culture, movies, and books, God is a centerpiece for military personnel because they don't know if they're ever going to make it out. I mean, look at the movie Fury, and then you have, then you have the Jackson from Saving Private Ryan, and that scene when they're on the beach in Normandy. They're all praying to God, hoping they're going to get out alive. So, I mean, in defense of the writing for this particular part, I understand why they put that in there, and it would be Buck to say that, because he's very much a stereotypical soldier. But he's, he's his own distinct character, is my whole thing, so 
Let's keep going through this game. The last voice acting was great, but the right, dialogue from sucks. The light is green. The dialogue for everybody sucks. Except for the chief, because I'm uh, chief and pub. Yeah. yeah, we should go jump out into the freaking battlefield. Halo 5 Guardian. Ooh, so tense. Even though I do love the music. I have the I have the soundtrack. The soundtrack is really good. Not as good as the originals. And they they tried to mirror it, but it's pretty good. And they fucked with the design of the freaking covenant ships. Man, that makes me mad. To this day, like the art style. Uh. Weapons free. Contact. Oosh. I love how he doesn't have to cock the shotgun. Stop being so reckless, Vale. Come on, I like you. I'm not supposed to do that. No. Such bad choreography. What the hell? Kicks in the face, break his neck. Ugh, those wraiths look really ugly. <laughs> wow, all he had to do was just leave him there. Yeah, he didn't have to shoot him. That was cool. Stop jumping on the phantoms and making them crash. Like, really? All you're supposed to do is extract someone, not go all out like it's a full-blown warrior in, because the UNSE technically isn't supposed to be involved in any kind of conflict. Yeah, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna run in. I'm gonna make it. Oh, shit. This scene's pretty cool, though. Slide. Catch the sword, stab the dude in the throat. And boosh. What a fuck. Yeah. Break your neck. Break your neck. Key bag. Glad I, glad I have the Halo 4 controls on now. Because, uh, back before this thing, I used Southpaw. That's our part. It was weird, but it was a heck of a lot better than the default control. The default controls for this game suck. Oh, Damn it. You're right. Pistol Day. Magnum. The Magnum is a lot powerful in this game than it has been in a long time. Ex excluding Halo 4's, because Halo 4's Magnum is really good in stopping power. But, I mean, no Magnum will ever, ever knock out the Magnum from Halo Combat at all. Like, that is the, by far the best Magnum ever. And I'm glad that in Halo 5 DLC that you can actually use in multiplayer, but you can't use it in the campaign. They don't even... They won't even let you use it as a power weapon in the campaign. Which sucks. Whoa. Uh, get ready. No! Do, 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 do. Running, 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 running. Alright, that's how you do it. Okay. RB. Get your ass back here, motherfucker. Ripper. Get over here. 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 Just terrifyingly hard, and, even, and the hunters in this game are terrifyingly hard. Like, they are. Oh my god, I killed him. Yeah, the hunters are super fast. It's hard to get their weak points. I remember playing. I remember when I played this for the first time on Legendary. I was stuck 
killing those two hunters on the second mission. I can never get past them for the life of me, and it took me a while to do that. Alright. No, you get over here, and you blow your head off. Got you. You don't want your own. Grenades. Nave, the spike grenades. They, they really improved on the spike grenades from Halo 4. Which I'm very happy about because the spike grenades in Halo 5, Halo 4 suck. They're only handy if you get. Oh shit. Well, damn it. Now here comes a crappy AI. Oh, nope. Actually, that actually worked that time. Get your ass back No, we don't. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Thank you, Buck. <laughs> they take you forever to get there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Gotcha. Alright, so Presser. So Presser is also great in the loot, but less ammo. Which is a really big thing in the 3 4 games. You don't get a lot of ammo. Ever. Especially for the human weapons. Which I can get, kind of, because they're trying to make this game more like Halo 2. But man, they, they, they tried and they failed. They, they tried. They really did. Get back. No, no, really, no, no. Stay away. Get back. Oh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. punched you in the face. Oh, shit. Get your ass back here. There we go. Alright, was that a light rifle with no clothes on the press? Again. Area's clear. Move on. No, it was a light. It's a freaking light. I noticed in the briefing Dr. Halsey's last left on. When did that happen? You did it. No idea when it was. I reckon it wasn't an argument, or he'd have cut off our head instead of our arm. Alright, there is a intel piece somewhere over here. I just, for the life of me, cannot find it currently because it has been a while since I found it. Oh wait. It's over here. In the skull. Found it. Yes, the speech skull. Fuck yeah. Yeah, there's an intel piece somewhere over there, though. So I just go ahead. Ah, damn it. The door is sealed tight. Forerunner security station. Ow. Must be in lockdown. Anywhere to lift it? The Artemis can analyze the world under systems. Might be a way to override this door. Artemis is pretty handy. This Artemis thing, one of your old Oni toys? At least it would be if it was more expensive. I convinced Commander Palmer to outfit us with prototypes. Access point. Systems analyzed. Looks like there's an override switch near the top of the room. Do 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 do. This should do it. Gotcha. It's good to see that Halo 5 didn't completely destroy the original stick system, because that would have been the Artemis amazingly the annoying. Look, listen to this. They're assaulting the back of the temple, bringing the cracker. Rocket sighted! Oh. Big boy. Go position. Find more time. Joel's getting desperate. Legendary speaks so easily, though. When I was a kid, I was stuck on a diplomatic shuttle that drifted in deep space for six months. My options would be real bored or spend the time getting smart. Intelligente at the intelligente. The signal is 
location. A signal bouncing off Forerunner objects. Mapping. Searching for something. But what? What did you think to find? Yeah, and you're probably thinking right now, who is she? Who is this she? Is this a transgender individual like Riley Dennis who's a fucking retard? Or is it something else? Something more sinister? And it all gets spoiled for you in the second fucking mission. Running, running. Our destination is on the other side of this battlefield. Tyler Pistol is greatly improved in this game. Watch out for the traffic. The government are trying to use it to break the program. Tazzle pistol's handy, but for like a like two seconds. And then it then it's just useless. Get ready. Get get yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Still trying to get used to the Halo 4 control for Halo 5. Because like it has added stuff from the other game, so it's a little weird. Wow, see I've overheated three times and it only went down like maybe twenty-five percent. That's how improved this pistol is. Oh damn. Goddamn bolt shot. Bolt shot's also really good. It's a burst weapon. It's a burst weapon this time, and it seeks. So that helps. Screw you. Aha! Headshot. Stay dead. Yeah, cool. yeah, okay. The dog sh. The little dogs. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Considering all it takes later in the campaign, and like two people blow it up. Yeah, sorry, that's a spoiler. But I mean, inconsistency, people. We have to point them out as we go. Okay. Oh, oh, hey. What time to watch throttle? Get back. Spike. Spike grenades. Spike grenades on you. Get back. Get back. Ow, damn it. Stop shooting it, oh huh? damn. There we go. Ooh, light rifle. Need that. Light rifle. Less ammo. But, still a good weapon to use. Must have dealt a blow to Indama's authority when the Prometheans turned on him. Gained a lot of followers, styling himself as a forerunner prophet. Jewel and Dama's an opportunity. Can it? Snap a bitch. It was only a matter of time until this version of the Covenant started to break. Well, it would stand to break a little faster if you ask me. Overall, this mission isn't completely terrible, but... I mean, there's a lot of stuff they could fix. I We're wish they fixed. Position. Ooh, intel. Obtain scans of new foreign address. One is completely new. Oh, that's a window. Now, if you paid attention to the Halo 5 Guardian trailers, you know what it is. The Guardians. Oh, and the souped up knights who are super freaking hard to kill. Concentrate fire on the broken armor. Get wrecked. Don't let them through the holes. We need our lives. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. 
accurate. Come on, get exploded by my explosive gun. Turret. Damn it. Dang it, I'm so close. Got ya. Headshot. They still do that though, so that's very handy if you want to get headshots. Alright, dangerous clear. We say that. We move on Halsey and Jewel. And then killing off probably one of the main points of Spartan Ops. Right here. Like you just kill off a whole storyline in between those four and five. Wow. There are several. Would you like to discuss the finer points of casual reconciliation? Or human sarcasm. So I like what they did with Halsey. You claim to be able to access yeah, how they're expanding her rules However, I did not claim to be able to access it your fingers are an open rebellion, and... Hey, good I found target. Location does not serve my needs. But to make another transmission, I must triangulate. I tire of this doctor. You have been chasing shadows for weeks to no avail. Well, he just ignores all those guys. Those guys don't do anything. They don't even bother to help him, Don. They just get wrecked that fast. Like, seriously, those guys are right in, right behind Walk, just sitting there. They could have just as easily killed Walk. And what about that phantom? Like, does the phantom leave when we're not looking or something? Like, where the fuck did it go? Seriously, what the hell? Classic Halsey. At least it got that right. Fucking Brian Reed. Fire Team Osiris, you are clear to land in Docking Bay 11. Hey, this leads to the blue team. Yeah, I'll stop the video after this particular call. in my position three weeks ago. I told you this was happening. Well, what was happening? Palmer. What has it done? How far has it already Who gone? killed that warthog? What the hell? Osiris. Just notice that. What do you think that's about? Dude, I asked you a question. Why are you staring out of space? What the hell, man? Seriously, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Chief, obviously reeling with Cortana being on. Okay, so I'll stop it right here. I'd like to thank you all for watching me grovel about how bad the inconsistencies are in Halo 5. But I mean, I like the gameplay of the of the game. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos. And I will see you in the next Halo 5 video with more sarcasm, annoyance, and sadness. Okay, see you then. Bye, and don't die.